Rachel. I'm Janet. Oh, hi, Janet. It's nice to finally meet you. Same here. Why don't you come on in? Thank you. My, what a lovely home you have here. Oh, thank you. That's so nice of you to say. It really is lovely. Look at this place. It's like I just stepped into Leave It to Beaver or Donna Reed. <laughs> <laughs> this woman is Donna Reed. <laughs> I mean, look at all the family portraits. They even have one with the family dog. I don't deserve to be in a place like this. Oh, look at her checking out this place. She could smell the uncleanliness. She knew it was a disaster before 3 o'clock this afternoon. The dog, the toys, the husband. Oh, my goodness. I just don't know what to do. Oh, would you like something to drink? Iced tea? Cola? Fresh squeezed lemonade? Oh, lemonade sounds lovely. Fresh squeezed lemonade? Look at her. She's rubbing it in my face. She's this happy homemaker. I, miss her. I hate my job. Wish I could find a man before I'm 30 so I could have kids. Maybe I can just get a cell phone call and make my escape. <clears throat> Therapist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Anna Janice. 
have some lemonade. That sounds lovely. Oh, so I hear you just graduated from college. Yes, and now I'm working at a local PR firm. Congratulations, how exciting. Any romantic involvement? Me? Oh, no. At least not at this moment. Well, you're young yet. Enjoy it. Yes. Enjoy it, Amanda. <laughs> Enjoy your youth. <laughs> because as soon as you hit 25, it's going to be nonstop pressure to get married. You can tell people you're single, and they think something's wrong. <laughs> know then what I know now. That Jack was a lying, cheating jerk. Cute, young and free. Oh, to be back roaming the countryside during the summer following Grateful Dead. Uh. <laughs> oh, don't judge me like I'm the only one who follows you. <laughs> Come 
and do what we came for. So I can jet. <laughs> yes, well, since I am the hostess, that is a good idea. Um, we're here because I wanted to, us to get together and talk about life and the things that um, we can support each other with and what we can lift up to God. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. Tell all these ladies how miserable I am. Just so they can sit there and smile and nod and think about how happy they are that they chose a family instead of a career. You know, that's a nice thought, lady, but I really don't think that you, any of you, can understand what a struggle it is being a single mom. I mean, you work all the time and try to raise a family. <coughs> You're all so far beyond me. I doubt that any of you have suffered the terrors that I have. You guys make me feel so small. And the last thing I need from you guys is more pity. My socks don't match. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> I'm really glad I did. 